The minimally invasive operation can be applied to a condition called appendicitis. And basically that is a situation where pain is present in the abdomen and moves to the right lower quadrant. And it is um, a result of an infection that's present within the appendix, which is a tubular structure. And the goal of the operation is to take that structure out. That is accomplished through a tiny incision in the belly button through which a um, high definition camera is inserted. And that camera is equipped with a very long uh, lens, about the size of a pencil, and that affords a panoramic view of the organs of the abdomen. Um, along with the, the camera in the belly button, which acts as your eyes, additional instruments are inserted through two other incisions that allow for instruments to be inserted that act as my hands. So the uh, organs can be manipulated, the appendix can be maneuvered, and a, another instrument, specialized tool, is able to seal the appendix from its attachment from the colon and divide it, after which the appendix, which is now free, can be placed in a special bag that is unfurled in the abdomen uh, and then withdrawn from the belly button with the appendix. And I love to take a picture of that uh, image because people really appreciate that. Uh, it's kind of like a picture of um, a trophy fish going into a net. The operation is done. Patients have three band-aids on their stomach. Very typically, they will um, feel better and be ready to go home by about noon the next day. And uh, I'll see them in clinic about a week later. I'm Carla Gerani. I'm a general surgeon at Shawnee Mission Medical Center.